Hi everybody, I'm at the Wiki booth and I'm talking to Mark Laporte. Hi Mark, which uh, projects are you here supporting? So I'm here uh, for Wikisuite. Uh, Wikisuite is an enterprise suite, uh, which is a free label open source. And basically it aggregates a bunch of open source projects in an integrated way. Okay, how does it do that? What sort of projects are there? So basically the idea is to do just about anything that a typical organization would need. So that could be like from email to wiki to... Um, to a blog, to uh, anything, uh, commerce. Typical, yeah. We need to support this. Yeah, exactly. So basically, if a typical organization needs that, that functionality, it should be part of Wikisuite. Okay. So basically, it's a dozen open source projects which are put together in a, an easy-to-install way and which are well integrated so that it f- the goal is that it feels as if it's one application. Okay. Huh. And what sort of projects are included in this? So uh, the big ones are ClearOS. ClearOS is the operating system, so it's a derivative from Red Hat. So basically, t- think of uh, a typical uh, operating system out of the box, like it's, it doesn't do anything, right? So it's, this one is made for the small, medium enterprise, uh, for distributed enterprise. Then um, there's TikiWiki CMS Groupware, which is basically just about anything for data management, which is you know, from blogs to wiki pages to commerce to... And then um, we have Roundcube for the webmail. So um, sync thing for s- file syncing. Okay. Um, Elasticsearch and Kibana. Elasticsearch for the search. Kibana for the, the dashboards. Um, Kimshi and KVM. So uh, KVM for virtualization. And Kimshi is a, a web interface for, um, for KVM. Kaltura for video management. Piwik for statistics. And open fire meetings, which includes Jitsi Meet for all the real time collaboration aspects. And for password management, it's KeePass. And for uh, uh, Fusion PBX and Free Switch, that's everything for the traditional phone system, SIP phone, yeah, PBX. And one last one is Xebo. So Xebo is a digital signage project. So basically, if you have a bunch of TVs somewhere and you want to control them from a, a central point. So this is basically everything a business could possibly want in a box. There you go. That's the goal. Oh, yeah. Ding. Okay, that's it. Interview over. Cool. <laughs> um, so, but these are diverse projects. How do you, how do you manage the, this a similar look and feel you mentioned? Even that must be a nightmare. So basically, we've been working for several. I started this project in 2011, and it took a long time. It was a lot of work. And basically, the first thing is for a common look and feel is we're moving all the projects to use the same framework called Bootstrap. So, the boot, so Tiki it moved to Bootstrap. ClearOS moved to Bootstrap. Fusion PBX moved to Bootstrap. So the goal is to move all the projects projects to bootstrap, of course working with each of the projects, so then it makes it easier to have a common look and feel. So that's one thing. The other thing, and uh, why, why, that's why it was very important to use ClearOS, so to pick the operating system, that was the most important thing to pick because that's the base, everything has to install on that, so it has to be easy to install. Um, and then once you have the, uh, control of the operating system, then things like installation, upgrades, and also single sign-on and things like that become uh, much easier. Yeah, but if you don't control your platform and you try to, you know, it has to work, anything would have to work with anything, then it gets very complex. So we just focus that our operating system is ClearOS, our data management is Tiki, and then, you know, we make those things work together. So we don't, we have limited the number of permutations. So yes, on one hand, it's huge, and it, you know, there's a lot of complexity, but on the other hand, it's a lot simpler than any other way of doing it. I, I, ca- I actually completely get that. The integration must be a lot easier than if if you know where you're coming from and you know where you're going. Definitely. And if we take the big projects, for example, in it, like TikiWiki CMS Group, where already that part is the uh, free lib open source web application with the most built-in features. So that actually doesn't have the problems that other CMSs have, like with plugins. So there's even a website that I made called pluginproblems.com. You may check it out. Um, so basically, it explains all the problems with plugins. And if you have like projects like WordPress that have 20,000 plugins, uh, or even other projects that only have like 5,000 plugins, there's no way everything's going to work with everything. But with a project like Tiki, you could say you could turn everything on, and your your, your interface will be you know huge because it'll have a lot of menus and stuff. But everything's going to work. So we're taking the same idea that we had that was been successful with Tiki. Now we're at, you know we're working in version 17. The current uh, you know release version is 16. So it's it's you know it's a project which has a lot of um, experience. We're just e- expanding that same idea to avoid plugins, to avoid complexity, but to to do it for the whole stack. Of, uh, of what a typical organization needs. So basically, right now, we do just about everything except accounting. So the whole accounting, human resource management, that's something we're weak on. But the goal is to get to that uh, in the next few years. It's quite, and it's also quite a difficult one because each region and each jurisdiction, and even within a jurisdiction, each region has its own 
uh, set of rules. And that's why also I kept it for later. And also, most organizations, you know, everybody needs email, everybody needs like some things. But um, even if we do offer accounting, doesn't mean that people will switch to that right away. They'll typically keep it separate. Okay, that is a, is a fantastic initiative. And uh, one, one question I have, um, giving you time to die there, is uh, how, how do you, uh, if, if there's a security breach or in one of the applications, is it simply just a, a YUM update or a DNF update? Right, it's, so it's, it's with YUM, uh, but it basically ClearOS automatically updates. So. It also updates all the uh, downstream projects? Well, not yet, but that's, that's, that's what we're working that's on. Like about half the projects, yes but the other half was still working on it. And they're all working towards that goal at the end of the day. So for me, like, as being you know, a project leader of a major project for a long time, I, I understand how it's very important to work with Upstream. So I'm working directly with Upstream in all the projects and making sure... Uh, a question often comes, like, what code does Wikisuite have? My goal is at the end, Wikisuite has zero code. Everything is done Upstream. And that's what I'm, um, I'm working on. And I actually have some meetings organized this, uh, this weekend with the project leaders of several of the projects. Delegation, delegation, delegation. There you go. Fantastic. Thanks very much for taking the time and good luck with the project. Thanks, Ken.